Kind of early in the morning, but it's uh, 12 noon, high noon today, along with your sandwich. Uh, make sure you're tuned in to Money Radio because Bob Roth is going to be on there with Health Futures. Good morning, Bob. Good morning, Ken. Good morning, Julie. Bob is with Cypress uh, Home Health Care and, uh, I see, I, I did it again, Cypress Home Care. There's no health in that uh, name. Well, we we want to make sure that our clients, uh, members of our community, are healthy, but we don't provide health care. We provide home care. But thank you for the clarification. And uh, long-term care is something a lot of people have to worry about, and uh, our body changes over the years. And I remember one day, Bob, I had a 2020 vision for most of my life, and one day I picked up a medicine bottle to read the instructions, and it was all blurry, just like one day it seemed to change. About how old were you? I was uh, in my early 40s. You know what? i got to tell you, Ken, and please listen, listening audience, it was about the same for me. In my 40s, and all of a sudden I woke up one morning and I could not see up close. Now, we're bringing this up for a reason because you have a special guest coming up today. I do. I do. Uh, you know, we have a special guest on today. His name is... Dr. Dan Adelberg, and he's with the Southwestern Eye Center. He's an ophthalmologist, and he's a vitreo retinal surgeon. That's what does that mean? It's he's a retinal surgeon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. Okay. And you know what? Our aging adults that we're caring for, as well as members in our community, uh, eyes are a very important thing. It's not only a gateway to our soul, but it's a gateway to our brain and our life. And so much can be seen by going to see a an ophthalmologist or even an optometrist so they can look in your eye and look in the back of the retinal retinal because there's so much going on so much could be told about that but i got a great show today dr dan adelberg is going to talk to us about how to really promote healthy eyes and how to take care of your eyes and you know what are some of the common diseases that a lot of our aging adults are are faced with and some may have heard of Cataracts. Yeah. Yeah. And when the, I'm not saying Cadillacs, we're saying cataracts. And there are surgeries that can be done today that used to be going to the hospital for, you know, three or four extended period of time after the surgery. This stuff is done outpatient. Wow, that is quite an advancement, yes. It, it is. And the other thing that he has shared with me, and I'm sure we're going to talk about it today, is uh, implantable lenses, especially not only with cardiac pa- or ca- cataract patients, but other patients that have other eye deformalities and stuff that you can sl- you can slip in a lens like a contact lens inside your eye surgically and now I know you're not the that. doctor but would that be the result of a disease or just the lenses going bad over time you know what now, we're going to talk about it today but I think it's more the latter I think that you know increased exposure to sunlight and and the natural progression of aging uh, you know there's some deterioration that happens in the eye and and there's some great medical advances that are going on. The other thing we're going to talk about is uh, it's a very common uh, uh, eye disease, and that's uh, macular degeneration. Oh, yeah. And that happens a lot with our aging adults. And uh, there's some new breakthroughs there. Um, you know, there hasn't been any cures, but there are ways to enhance somebody's vision, which is really, really exciting. And, you know, there are things that happen to us every day, and some of us probably remember uh, or, or have experienced floaters, or, you know, they may have watery or, or dry eyes. Um, these are things that uh, Dr. Dan Adelberg can talk about, uh, what he and his uh, surgeons and doctors are doing at Southwestern Eye Center. It's a little bit scary when something goes wrong with your eyes, and uh, it would be good to listen today because I think you might feel a little better about knowing what is causing certain things and how to take care of those problems. You know what? I, you would, and, and I, I really recommend that somebody or everybody go see a eye doctor or optometrist and get their vision correct or checked out, making sure everything's okay. And, and like I said, the retinal, retina is the gateway, and they can find out all kinds of challenges that you're dealing with. And the other thing that we're dealing with with our aging adult population is, you know, diabetes has a major effect on on eyesight, and there are other um, there are other diseases, if you would, that can affect the eyes. So we're going to talk about how to promote healthy eyes, how to exercise those eyes, and uh, preserve that sight that we all value so much. And I'm sure all of us have gone through, you know, what would I prefer to lose my hearing or my eyes? Uh, I would say, let's not lose both. And let's be proactive. Let's get over to the doctor if we think something's wrong. But also, regular checkups are very, very important. So tune in today. Dr. Dan Adelberg, Health Futures, taking stock in you. That'll be 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock right here on uh, Money Radio. In the meantime, if you want to find out more about long-term care, go to the website, cypresshomecare.com. A wealth of information right there. Bob Roth is managing partner. Thanks so much for joining us this morning.
Dan, thank you. Uh, I said Dan. That's okay. I, I like <laughs> Ken, Dan. Ken and Julie, thank you. And I want to wish you and uh, our listening audience a really safe, happy Labor Day weekend. And enjoy, guys. All right. Thanks. The end of the summer. Yeah. Thank you. Hopefully. Sweet.